Pixel 8 Pro. Pixel 8 Pro. So where do I start with this? So I've had the Pixel 8 Pro, well, well it's been over a week. It's been, let's see here, Thursday, oh, I'll say Friday, Saturday. So we'll say 10 days, 10 days with this, with the Pixel 8 Pro. I've had the Pixel 8, and here it is in the OEM case. I'll, uh, I'll pop this off. I've had the Pixel 8 for a little bit longer, about two weeks, a little bit longer than that. Yeah, about that, about two weeks, okay? Here's the thing, if I wasn't doing tech reviews, I would probably not go with this and I would stick with this. And here's why, here's why. When you look at these two devices on paper, just on the paper specs, um, the Pro has five or six more features kind of thing, okay? Now, aside from the physical difference, now with the physical difference, now both of them you're gonna get a flat screen, okay? Both of them you're gonna get that lovely flat screen. Both of them are gonna have the main 50 megapixel shooter. But after that, basically things change up. You're gonna to go to a 48 megapixel telephoto over here on the Pro. This guy does not, okay? They both have the same selfie cameras, so you get to get the same selfie. Software-wise, they both have the same things. Although this guy here is gonna get video boost, this guy will not. I'm gonna say, I'm just throwing a number out there. This is, I don't have data to back this up. But based on my usage, based on what I've seen with other people, based on what I see what other people do, I'm gonna say 95% of people are gonna get good with this right here. Are gonna be good with just the regular Pixel 8. Just because a device is called Pro, I know this happens for a lot of people. They are like, oh, I want Pro, it's the best of the best. It may not be the best for you, okay? You're gonna get, obviously, a bigger screen. You're gonna get a bigger battery, okay? A brighter screen. You're gonna get, um, pro features in the camera. And that's one of the big things as well too. And by, by pro features, I mean 50 megapixel you know, sensor there would take the, the bigger HDR type photos, things like that. And we're, we can get into those details later on too. But if all that stuff doesn't really matter to you and you just wanna be able to do the basic social media, communicate with your friends and family, and where you go kind of thing, you're gonna be good here. Even for content creation, the Pixel 8 is still a great choice if i wasn't doing content creation and the fact of the matter is like i know i know doing pixel content is very niche for the most part most pixel owners are going for the pro at least within the tech realm okay the nice thing about the pro is that i can talk about this and most of the stuff i talk about with this will still apply to this okay will still apply to this However, I know that the majority of people, when it comes to, you know, there, there's quite a, a, you know, quite a big difference in, in pricing when you go from this to this. It's so much better, eh, without the reflection. It's so much better without, because this, this matte finish on here is just awesome. Really, when you break it all down, the difference between the Pro and the regular come down to Pro features, telephoto, and obviously size difference. And with size difference, you're going to get battery, bigger screen, brighter screen. Okay, but you know, the, it, this is this is an important conversation to have because uh, do I spend the money? Da, 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 right? I'm gonna tell you, and you know if you need the pro, but think I want you to also think about this. Are you if you're a current if you're a current pixel owner, I want you to think about this. If you're a current pixel owner, let's say you have a pixel six pro or pixel seven pro. Um how many times have you gone and used those pro features? The features, the software that's only on the pro. For the most part, for the seven and six pro, there's not a lot of difference between the regular, right? This year we have pro controls with the camera. If you like a big phone, if you like a bigger battery, hey, giver, I completely understand. That right there is reason enough for a lot of people. I want the bigger battery. I like a bigger screen. Hey, giver, right? But if you can work with the smaller screen, do it, man. I I really like this size. I really like this size. I, I find the speakers just as good. I'm finding the brightness right there. The camera is right there. The selfie camera is the same. Um, not a fan of the glossy finish, especially now that we have an option with a brushed. Um, I've talked about this before as well. I really like the, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, the railings are brushed. There we go. The railings are brushed. 
They look really good. I really like the brush railings on this. I really hope they bring those brush railings to the Pro next year. I already talked about this in a shortener thing, but I'm gonna say it again. Google, please do this frosted for all, all models next year, both regular and Pro, and the brushed railings on both. Brush railings, frosted colors, oh my God. Next year will be incredible, incredible. I really hope they do that. Keep the flat screen. People love the flat screen. So let's look at these uh, specs. A little demo for you guys. So we're gonna do this. And we're not, we're just in regular shooting mode here, okay? So like, listen, okay, now listen. You guys heard the sound, right? You guys heard the, you know, okay. Picture's been taken, okay? Now, now I'm gonna put this into pro mode. Okay, so what you do is you hit the cogwheel. Okay, and you go over to Pro, and you pick 50 megapixel. Okay, 50 megapixel, okay? That's all I've done, that's all I've done for Pro Mode. Okay, you can do a point and shoot with Pro Mode. Now listen, I'm gonna push the button here in three, two, one. Did you hear that? Dun, okay, we'll do it again. Three, two, one. Okay, if I didn't hold still for that, now let me just show you guys. The picture is clear. Um, it does, yeah, let me see if you guys can see that. The picture's nice and clear and whatnot, and there's a ton of data in that photo, okay? Um, I can't show you guys the back end here, but the, this photo, let me go to the regular one. Let me go into my Google Photos here. Okay. So the regular photo, I don't know if I can show this to you guys. So here's the details of the regular photo. I don't know if that's gonna focus. You guys can see that? 12 megapixel, 4080 by 3042, Ultra HD R. That's regular mode, okay? That's regular mode. Now let me show you guys Pro. You guys can see how big the Pro is. This is massive, massive. Okay, let me just bring it down here. Look at the size difference. 8160 by 6140, 50 megapixels, 11 megabits, ultra HDR. It's taking up a huge amount of space. Now, going back to when I took the photo, you guys heard that delay, right? So with the regular mode, pro, right? Unless you're leaning like I was and you're stabilized, because it actually tells you on screen, it actually says hold still. So if you're out and about and you're walking around, and I'm taking 50 megapixel and, a da -da -da and you're moving around, you, they're going to look like crap. So you need to use some stabilization. You need to use a tripod. You need to stand still. It's hard. You, th you think you're standing still? The little bit of movement? Forget about it, right? It's kind of like when you use, uh, for those of you who have done astrophotography mode on your pixels, you know that you can't do it while holding the phone. The phone has to be stabilized. There cannot be any movement at all. It's kind of the same way with the, the uh, that Ultra HDR. Now, you're going to see video samples. You're going to see pictures of people that do like handheld. But I guarantee you that they're leaning against something or using some sort of voodoo magic <laughs> so that they don't move around. Otherwise, the photos will be blurry. So again, we rewind here. You think about that. Do I need that? Now, it's nice to have all that extra information. You can, you can change ISO, this and that. All these different features change the focus. You're gonna, see, you're gonna see some really cool things. I'm still learning, I'm still learning, okay? But if you just wanna point and shoot and still take an ultra HDR photo, not at 50 megapixels, but 12 point, whatever it is, 12.5, you're still gonna get awesome photos. This camera here on the eight, check this out. You can still do 10-bit HDR on the Pixel 8. You can still take 10-bit HDR video with the Pixel 8. 4K 60 on the Pixel 8. Okay, 4K 60, 30, 24. Did you guys see that? 4K 60, you know, 
Uh, I don't think a lot of people realize that these these options are here. Look, HDR, non-HDR, you got the stabilization, you got the macro focus. Macro focus was only on the 7 Pro before. Now it's on the regular 8. I love macro focus. It's so much, it's cool, it's fun. Sometimes it kicks in when you don't want it to, so I turn off the auto mode, you just tap to turn it off. But the macro focus is cool, man. It's cool. Let me, here, let's take a macro photo right now. Let's take a macro photo right now. Let's get in here. Check it out. Look at this. Hold on, let me just tap that. Get rid of the artifacts. There we go. You can see the little hair on there. <laughs> There's a piece of Loki's hair on there. Okay, that's the macro. Okay. Now, I'm also gonna take like a regular photo. We're just gonna take a regular photo of the keyboard and we'll tap to turn up the macro and right there okay perfect and let that load up let it do its thing come on man this thing's tight man let me tell you listen man just because it's called pro I'm not trying to tell you not to do it. It's your money. Do what you need to do. You know if you need this. But if you're like on the fence, and you're like, I don't know. Da, da, da. Listen, listen. If battery life and a bigger screen is important to you, then absolutely go to the Pro. I'm not saying that this is bad, but you're going to get a bigger battery, obviously, with this. Okay? Which pixel is right for you? All right. So on the left, we have our Pixel 8 Pro. On the middle, in the middle here, we have Pixel 8. And on the right, I put the 7 Pro. Again, disregard the pricing, okay? We're gonna go through these these differences here, people. This is on paper differences, okay? This is physical, this is software, everything, okay? This is straight from Google themselves. Obviously, you're gonna have a color difference. Obviously, you're gonna have a size difference, okay? Um, you can see that the, the new 8 Pro is just a little bit shorter at 162.6 millimeters compared to 162.9, like barely nothing. And then, of course, uh, your width is pretty much the same, and then it is a little bit thicker at 8.8 .8 millimeters compared to 7 Pro last year with 7.6, okay? Now, display, because it's showing right there at the top there, guys. Let me just move this so people can understand. Okay, so display. Full 6.7 inch display, super actua. Yeah, it is, it is really good, guys. The screen is really good this year, okay? LTP OLED, okay, 49 PPI. 428 over here on the 8 and there is a, a there is a brightness difference between the two the 8 pro does get brighter though you guys can see here at 2400 mits uh nits sorry nits whereas the 8 is 2000 huge difference look at this even last year's pro was 1500 and i will admit I, i've talked about this before the the pixel 7 pro not the best in in bright light uh, when I was comparing between Pixel 7 Pro and the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Ultra just blew it out of the blew it out of the water. But now this right here at 2400 with the Pro totally competes, and so does this 2000. It competes well. So again, you're getting some nice new screens right there. Okay, beautiful. 20 by 9 aspect. Again, uh, you know you got the Victus glass here. Of course, you have up to 120 hertz on both of them, on both of them, both the 8 and 8 Pro. Okay, so so far. So far, when we look at the physical differences, again, other than the physical dimensions, so far, under the hood, not a lot of difference for 2400 versus 2000. Okay, same refresh rate. Okay, you're gonna get the same depth of colors, same contrast radio ratio. I'm gonna scroll down here. HDR, always on, now playing, at a glance, all the same, all the same. And even then, people, look over here at the, at the 7 Pro. Some very similar features, right? Very similar, okay? Except for that brightness, okay? Now, let's go to the battery. This battery is, this is a point of contention for people. This is this is very important because, you know, do I get the, people just, I'm actually, I'm gonna go with the bigger battery because it's bigger. I mean, it's just, it's just science. It just makes sense, right? So yes, last year's battery, 5,000 on the 7 Pro. This year, 5,050, practically the same. Keep in mind though, that the 8 and 8 Pro are running Tensor G3, generation three, okay? We have yet to see long-term 
in terms of battery life and things like that. For myself personally, I'm getting all day plus some. And by all day, I mean unplugging around seven and then topping up around five, six o'clock when I'm having dinner. And when I'm topping up, I'm usually around 25, 20% kind of thing. Okay, I'll top up for the evening. Um, and, and keep in mind, I'm a very heavy user though. Social media, messages, phone calls, emails, lots of stuff. I'm creating content on my phone. Your mileage may vary, okay? Battery battery tests and whatnot are always, they, they gotta be subjective people because it depends on what you're doing, okay? But I'm also still getting very similar with the eight as well, okay? 5,000 milliamps smaller-ish, okay? Battery can last beyond 24 hours. Now that's if you put in like the super power saver mode thingy, okay? Which does kick in um automatically or you can set it up to do it you can also turn it off okay okay again not a lot of big differences here fast charge wireless charging battery share charge other devices wirelessly okay design edgeless cording gla uh, glass victus 2 on the 8 pro on the regular one it's just glass victus back with matte aluminum frame we guys, we guys showed you guys that with the, the brush frame. And then the 8 Pro has a polish frame. Fingerprint resistant coating. IP68 dust and water resistance. So don't take it for a dip. But if you get splashed, you're walking down the street, someone throws a water balloon at you. I mean, which happens all the time. Uh, there you go. You're good to go. You'll be fine. Memory. This is interesting because sometimes people point this out and they're like, oh, the, the 8 is so much slower. I have not noticed a difference. I have multiple accounts on both phones. I'm running social media, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Blue Sky, um, Facebook, da, 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 on both of them. I have not noticed a slowdown or had an issue of switching between apps. I have not. Okay. I'm not saying that you won't. I'm saying I have not. Okay. Um, I've been fine. Last year's Pro had 12. This also could be the honeymoon phase as well, people. It's a brand new device. I've only had it for two weeks. Who knows what's going to happen in the third week, fourth week two months from now, right? I will let you guys know. I'll let you know through my continuous testing, my continuous live streams. This isn't just a one and done. Next week, we're talking about something else. You guys know I'm continuously talking about this stuff. This is what I do, okay? Uh, 128, 256, of course, you can pick your storage. A lot of people are saying this year that they wish they had, they had gone with 256 because the photo phone is taking larger photos and videos. And I have found that a little bit, but only because I took a whole bunch of crazy video right away with the Pixel 8 Pro. I will be using the Google Photos option of basically clearing it out so it's it's in the cloud but not directly on the device because I have four terabytes of storage in the cloud. Um, and then away we go. Other than that, you should be fine with 128 unless you're taking a crazy amount of video, in which case you know that you probably want the pro features and whatnot because you're taking all these different features and slow motion, da, 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 da. Of course, you can do that with the regular eight. So in which case you might want to look at the 256, okay? Now, again, all three, Titan M2, Security Core, VPN. The VPN by Google One is really good. It's really, it's easy to use. It works well. It's directly on the device. It's awesome. Fingerprint unlock. And the fingerprint is so bad on the pic. No, it's not. Shush. It is fine now. It's perfectly fine. Is it an optical? Yes. Is it as fast as an ultrasonic? No. Is it slow? No. That's all you need to know, people. You guys have seen me showing you it, okay? Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. You know what you want to do here? This is, because this kind of ticks me off. We're gonna, I'm going to show you guys this right now in real time. In real time. I don't have a top-down camera. I'm not going to move the camera. Okay, so here we go. Pixel. Pixel 8 Pro. Okay, it's already unlocked because it looked at my face. So I'm just going to lock it again. Okay, so we're locked. Okay, we're locked and... I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, what's the problem? Look, did you guys see that? Okay, so again, it's not looking at my face. What's the problem? By the way, the face unlock, so like this, it is fast, okay? I have both fingers done. Pixel 8. Pixel 8, okay, so it's already unlocked because it looked at my face. I put it over here. 
and we'll get you guys in frame. Okay, I'm gonna kind of look away at you guys. Okay, keep your eye on the phone. What's the problem? I'm under low light right now. This thing is not that bright. My, my canopy light here, my umbrella light, it's at 30%. I've got a little light here. I've got a key light going here. Your fingerprint sensor is so... No, it's not. Shush. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay. Stop it. Re Redo your fingers. Do Listen. The Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro, Pixels allow up to four fingerprints. So do both thumbs at the same time. Do both thumbs at the same time. Do both thumbs at the same time. Do us all a favor, Reddit. Yeah, shots fired. Uh, do both fingers, okay? Do them both, okay? And, and you'll be good. You do do your right one, then do your left. Do your right, and then your left, okay? That's all you gotta do, okay? That's all you gotta do. Um, if you put a screen protector on, there's a mode called, there's a mode on there you turn on called fingerprint, or called a, finger, a screen protector mode. You turn that on, it, it ups the sensitivity. In fact, you don't have to have a screen protector to put that on. You can turn on fingerprint sense of uh, Jesus. You can turn on screen protector mode without it. And it's then it's super sensitive. But you know what? The face unlock this year. Holy cow. It's fast. In fact, Google's using the highest available security for a face unlock this year on the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro. What does that mean? I can now unlock and log into my banking apps, my financial apps, at least the ones here in Canada with my beautiful face. I just showed you. I'm so tired of people complaining about the fingerprint thing. Yeah, it's an optical. People will not be happy until they change it to an ultrasonic. Google, please do this. Listen, listen, Google. Google, if you're listening, Rick, Sundar, team, don't ever change. Don't change it to an don't change it to an optical. Keep it as a or don't, don't change it to an ultrasonic. Keep it as a keep it as a optical. Just to piss them off. Just to show them that you're right. Don't don't do it. It's cheaper. It, it and it works. You guys have got it to work. And plus, your face unlock was working awesome. Don't change it. Please don't change it. Please don't. Let's continue to troll these these little people. Yeah. Take that and clip it. <laughs> let's do a let's do an AI wallpaper right now. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. Let's do an AI wallpaper. So we're gonna hold down and then we're gonna go and click on wallpapers and style. Okay. Then we'll click on more, more wallpapers and at the top here it says AI wallpaper. Okay. And those categories are imaginary, mineral, luminous, painting, x-ray, texture, night, bloom, terrain, soft focus, volcanic, translucent. There's bloom and we'll tap that. Okay. A hazy image of lavender plants on a backdrop of red space galaxy. So again, lavender plants, jasmine flowers, tulips, daisies, carnations, plants, daffodils, forget-me-nots, sunflowers. The big word at the end here, but something rather, where is it? Bougainville, I don't, my wife can probably say that. Okay, so there we go. So we have our category right there where it says bloom. You guys can see that? It says bloom. Let's see if it focuses. It says bloom at the top. But then we're here we are, okay? On a backdrop of red. These are your colors right here. Red. Let's take a look. Put over here. Red, yellow, purple, pink, blue, green, orange, brown. Um, black, gray, magenta, maroon, white, turquoise, lavender. There's so many here. Uh, olive, coral, navy, teal, gold, silver, beige. Whoever puts the color first, I don't care who. Uh, cream, fuchsia, blue, uh, plum, beige, indigo, rust. I'm gonna pick this, okay? So there's space galaxies, foggy swamp, sand dunes, humid, uh, humid swamp, <laughs> beach, desert, okay? Uh, what else is here? River, waterfall, mountains, Aspen, Aspen Lake. I'm gonna pick space galaxy. So here we gotta go. So here we are, a hazy image of whatever, <laughs> backdrop of fuchsia space galaxy. And now we're gonna hit the create wallpaper. Let me see if I can straighten this out. 
Okay. Generating. <gasps> what? What? <sighs> wow. Okay, okay, okay. So it gives us a couple options. This is the first one. Okay, this is the first one. And then there's that. 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 And we can actually redo it again. And, and if, if I were to hit inspire me right now, it would randomly do something. So actually what you do is you tap on it again, and then you just say create wallpaper again. And it will give us a bunch of options again. This is how you redo it. Okay, we're gonna get a bunch of options again. Ooh, I like that. I like that first one. <gasps> we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this right here. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness. Boom. Now, of course, from here, we can actually go in and we can change out the colors. I am, I'm actually using the monochrome coloring right now and I prefer that. I like that. Look at that, guys. Oof. I like that. All right, let's go back into that comparison. Remember how we were doing that comparison? We got off topic here. We are right at the part where we're talking about memory between the 8, 8 Pro and the 7 Pro. Okay, so we're gonna get back into the nitty gritty. And as you guys saw there, there are not a lot of huge changes, but there's enough between the 8 and 8 Pro that people, um, you may wanna consider one or the other, All right? So going down here, Tensor G3 on both 8, 8 Pro, Tensor G2. That's a whole different conversation. I have found personally, I have found personally that Tensor G3 is running cooler. This is my experience in loading a bunch of apps, doing a bunch of pictures, taking a bunch of 4K60. It is running cooler. It does get warm just like any other device would at 4K60, but it is definitely running cooler. Now, camera, here's a big thing. So pro on the left. Regular eight in the middle, seven pro on the right. Both eight and eight pro gonna have the 50 megapixel wide. F 1.6. Pro is gonna have a multi-zone LDAF, laser auto, sorry, which stands for laser laser detect autofocus. Uh, there's a single zone on the eight. I can't tell the difference. I mean, that's gonna be a pro thing, right? And we're gonna get to those pro features in just a second here. Optical and electrical image stabilization on the wide and telephoto, whereas the regular is just on the wide because there is no telephoto on the eight. 82 degree field of view, okay, same. Now, the ultra wide, ultra wide, because of the pro features, because of the pro setup, on the eight pro is 48 megapixels. On the eight is 12 megapixels. It's pretty much the same camera as last year. If you've ever used a Pixel 7 Pro, this is gonna be the same experience over here. It's gonna be the same experience. Look at everything's the same. Now, whether it's the same equipment, I don't know this for sure. But look, the specs between the 8 and the 7 Pro when it comes to the ultra wide are the same. Okay, so in other words, more value here in the 8, in my opinion. Okay, whereas the 8 Pro, you're gonna get a 40 megapixel quad uh, ultra wide, okay, huge. Then of course, when we go down here, no telephoto on the eight. Again, you'll know if that's important to you. And the eight pro 48 megapixel quad PD telephoto. Okay, super resume of the 30X. Okay, pretty awesome. And the 30X photos come out pretty good. They look good on social, but you can definitely tell it's zoomed in, okay. Selfie camera is exactly the same between the 8 and 8 Pro. Then, then we get into camera features. Looking at this chart, people. A lot of this is software. A lot of this is the same. So, 8 Pro. Pro, Pro controls, obviously. High resolution photography. But both are going to get best, best take. Both are going to get magic audio racer. Video boost only on the 8 Pro, and the video boost is not out yet. This comes out in December. It's not available yet. 
Night Sight video is not out yet till December. So again, these two things here, we can't even talk about them. We can only talk about what we've seen in the promos. It's not available yet. This comes out in December. Other than that, look at this. Everything is the same, even against last year's. So again, just look at just look just looking at the, this year's new things. Pro controls, video boost, night sight. Okay, that's it so far. Pro controls, high resolution uh, uh, of uh, photography, video boost, night sight video. Then everything else is the same. Everything. Photo umbler, macro focus, night sight, top shot, portrait mode, super red zoom. Motion autofocus, live HDR plus, frequent faces, dual exposure control, cinematic pan, portrait light, magic eraser, motion mode, real tone, face unblur, panorama, manual white balancing, locked folder. Put all the spicy photos on there. By the way, it does upload to the cloud now, which is nice. Um, don't ask me how I know. Ultra HDR astrophotography. Even more than what the 7 Pro had. Audio, stereo speakers, three microphones, noise expression, spatial audio. When you break it down like that, when you break it down like that, there is not a lot of difference between this and this, okay? Both awesome devices. If I was not doing social media, if I was not doing what I do here, if I was just trucking along, even with just a regular channel, I would still pick this. I would 110% pick this. I would, I really, really would. I really, really would. So when I say don't make that mistake, don't fall for the FOMO, don't get the pro just because it's pro, when you're not gonna use pro features, save yourself some money, people. Have a better experience with this. Smaller, more pocketable. But hey, don't let me tell you otherwise. This is still the best of the best. Okay? I hope that makes sense for you guys. I hope that, uh, really, don't fall for the FOMO. FOMO will just make you make stupid decisions, okay? I'm not telling you not to get this. I'm just saying 90% of people, 95% of people are going to probably be fine with the 8. Really, honestly. But I got I got the pro because I want I want to try those pro features. I like a bigger screen. I like a bigger battery. I do pixel content. It just makes sense for me to have it. Right? Google sent me this one. Very happy with it. But uh, you know, got this one for my carrier. Spent my own money. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's how she goes. Links for you know things I've talked about this week, including the Nomad chargers, all that kind of stuff, are all down below. Affiliate links. I appreciate everybody using those links. Uh, special thanks one more time to all our channel members and everybody that's you know supporting the channel that way. Buy me a coffee. Super thanks. Super chats. All that kind of stuff. I really appreciate that. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate you guys all being here. I'm gonna let you guys all go. You guys all have a great day. I'll see you on the socials. Take care. Cheers.